wanna be next to you. I wanna love physical. Roll trees in my day one, stay down with my real niggas. Police on the streets packing that new heat, they won't kill us. On me, yo, my, cause I look fly to think I'm a drug dealer. After the stage, we're back. I'm here with New Old Ray. He's sick right now, but he still came to shell it down. She's so thick with a slim figure. Big files, rich nigga. That's how I know I'm a shit nigga. And just in general, how you feeling right now? Oh uh, yeah, musically and mentally, you know, I feel, I feel like I'm in a good place, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the few, past few months have been busy as fuck for me. Just like, um, either been in the studio or shooting a video or um, editing a video or designing some clothes or planning an event, running an event, uh, you know what I'm saying? Or just making some money. You feel me? Like, I haven't had like a chill day. You know what I'm saying? My my taste is like it's so specific. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just music. A lot of people inspire me. I've been to a lot of things and it's not just music I do as well, you know what I'm saying? Like I direct videos, shoot videos, I edit videos, I, I design clothes, you know what I'm saying? Put it in the map. Put away two bitches and they fucking bad. Need a six seat or Uber call the cab. I'm leaving with more women. But you also mentioned there's only about five artists that you kind of check for and five artists that inspire you. Who are those? Who's that select five? Yeah. I mean, so like, uh, maybe, maybe I'm, you know, I'm just being a little bit, um, you know, frugal by saying that. But, uh, there are definitely a lot more people that inspire me, but like my my top five. In terms of artists, of course. Artists, yeah, but, um, you know, obviously, so it's Ye, Cuddy, uh, Tame Impala, Radiohead, uh, Trav. You know what I'm saying? That's a, fair, that's a fairly varied group of artists. Is there anything you see in those um, artists that you've kind of tried to work on within yourself? So what, one thing that's comparable to each of them is that they never do things the same. You know what I'm saying? You, you can't compare the sound of any Kanye album. You can't compare the sound of any Kid Cudi album. You also can't compare the sound of any Radiohead album. You can't compare the sound of any James Blake album. You know what I'm saying? They all switch it up. And I appreciate that. I still think about the days I had you. I already know the truth, so why you telling lies? They already told me about it, don't you act surprised? You started rapping before you was doing anything else. Am I correct in saying that? Hell yeah. So what made you want to make the jump into producing as well? Because uh, I feel like the sound that I wanted was so different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't really just ask people to do that. And like, you know, it's not easy to find a good producer as well. So I was like, if I learn how to produce, I can really be very technical and specific with how, with how I want my shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you heard that second, that unreleased track that I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I made that beat. You got the crowd going, and the track's not even out yet. Yeah, and, you know, being able to do that with a crowd is, is sick. So credit to you for doing that as well. Appreciate that, man. But yeah, man, I, I produced that track, and uh, you know, I said I don't know, I don't know no producer that can like create that kind of sound. That's not like interstellar, that outer space sound. That's that's what I'm on. You know, I'm saying new world. Fuck that nine to five shit. You feel me? You literally left the job that day, went to the studio that day. Made that song that day. That fucking night. Everything, beat, bars, all of that. Also, the beat was made by um, uh, she, what is that? Band Boy. You know what I'm saying? Band Boy. Shout out Band Boy. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, um, he's got his online beat page. The nigga is sick. You know what I'm saying? Take Keith signed him. Uh, you feel me? So, I heard that beat. And then I made a whole different vibe before it, and then like I was like, I deleted the whole thing, and then I was just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, bro, fuck. I was thinking like, fuck that. I was thinking about today, and I was just, fuck that shit. And just like, yeah, man, it's kick. Ran that shit. Fool me, fool me. 
I need your touch, I need it. Is that something like you've applied into your own life, like every day? Like you remind people what they mean to you. Yeah, you man. give you give people their flowers while they're here. You know what I mean. Yeah, Not when they've gone. Is that something you've added to your daily? It's something that I, you know, I, I'm making it a thing to do that. You know what I'm saying? And even if even if it's something as small as like just scrolling through Gram, I see some artist I, I don't know, but like his snippet is sounding fire. Yeah, I like hit him up like yo, this shit fire. You know what I'm saying? Like so at the end of the day, that's that's what it is. We're, we're all in the stream. Everyone comes in contact with someone you know what I'm saying like you come in contact with almost everyone every day you know what I'm saying true you feel me so if you fucking with it you might as well just be like yo that shit is hard bro you don't know what, I, what that's gonna do for him you know what I'm saying imagine being a rapper posting some snippets on your story you think they're hard as fuck but no one is telling you that you know what I'm saying it's not like me you don't I mean I know my shit is hard I don't need validation but not everybody thinks like that and even though I feel like that sometimes it's nice just hearing that you know what I'm saying you be on my mind what's next for you I know you've uh, you've mentioned new clothes we just heard some unreleased tracks so just in general what's what's next for New World Rare? Uh so you know um, I have my next show in uh, Toronto Canada uh, you know what I'm saying Downtown Toronto Mansion Shout out down, Downtown Toronto Mansion It's going to be On the 23rd of November That shit gonna be fire You know what I'm saying We got this whole mansion We gonna turn it into A motherfucking You know what I'm saying it's Madness nigga Cause I've been working On this album Called Run For Us For a while And it's got Some of like The best beats I've ever made The best songs I've ever made But I also got like Hella songs Still mad fire like the one I played tonight, that's not gonna make it on that album. So I'm thinking another project in December. Oh, two in a year. Let's run it. The work rate is real. Yeah, man. New old Ray, thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you.